in this example we'll create um, an input dialog using the uh, Pi QT5 um, toolkit so we'll load uh, development editor and we'll import some modules um, we'll need Q widget which is the window Need a button that contains a text line input and of course application. Then um, we'll run initialize the toolkit. We'll ask for a line of input, so we can simply do this. the window name and print the, the input and just exit so this is very minimal way to, to show the text dialog and we have a window dialog where we can enter our name if we press ok we have that inside the variable name in fact uh, the other variable will be either set to true or false so with we the function uh, get text will return uh, the input text and whether the button is pressed is uh, uh, either true or false so if ok is pressed it's true if cancel is pressed it's false um, so this is a very basic way to do it and um, can of course um, change it a, a little bit if you want uh, to a different name or you can put it inside a class uh, but generally you can just call this uh, method to for the input dialog um, so let's create a, a class around it just for the fun of it. So we call it a name class, which is the type widget. And we'll have an initialization function. Uh, sorry. And function to initialize the user interface. say the window has a, a button it's, um, so let's say a button uh, and the button will uh, once clicked will show the, the name so the button will have the name introduce and we'll put it in some position um, let's say 30 30 and we'll connect it to the function um, show name dialog and let's just create that function right now so that function will create our window and let's also output it. Let's copy this. And the local stuff here. create the uh, RF uh, 
think we have that name used already. So it's created uh, the, the user app. Kind of a simple name. Um, so we'll create an object. Uh, let's say example is the user app. And we'll call to execute. So let's see. It starts a uh, user app goes into this constructor, initializes, creates a, an interface, um, will set the window, hold on, and move to the position, let's say 10 by 10, or 100 by 100, it's probably somewhere around here. Um, then it will add a button which has introduce uh, on it and once clicked it will call the function show name dialog which asks the, the text input so if we run that um, we don't actually see anything which is surprising I'd say initialize, we load our uh, program and that will load our ah, so it's obvious, uh, we don't show our window so finally we show our window so there we go, we have a window with the button introduced and once clicked, it will ask us uh, our name if we give our name, uh, it will uh, store that variable and return whether we press OK or cancel. So I'll just show you the code again. This is the whole code for that little program.